Hello everyone. In this tutorial, uh, we're going to walk through today how to install Topaz Electronic Signature Pad and interface that with Acumatica eSignature plugin. In order for the plugin to work with Topaz hardware device, uh, make sure to purchase the model that we specified uh, that, that works with Acumatica and Topaz. Once you do have that, you have to install a plugin or uh, an extension for your browser uh, uh, on your website, right? From your on your device at least, on your laptop or desktop. So let's say if you go into my software section and plugin and apps, and then look for browser tab, and on the browser tab you will see the add-on extension for the browser. So click on this one and click the download. So the download will open up the PDF document, which is an installation guide for the Topaz. Scroll down, identify the browser that you are going to be using on your laptop or desktop where the Topaz signature pad is, you know, actually attached to your USB drive, right? And that's where you're going to be accepting the signature. If it's Chrome, in my case, it happens to be Chrome. So I have clicked on this and actually installed the extension itself on my Chrome browser. Once I have that, then you can also go down to um, Topaz website and click on demos on source code and click on web. Uh, and then you can click this particular link, Cypress Excite Lite Demo. So if you have installed it, then by clicking on the sign, you can actually uh, emulate the process of you know, taking the signature. Uh, so this is something that you could try. Um, as you can see here, I can now write the signature, I can clear, um, I can write a better signature. If this is working, that means the browser has the capacity and capability to accept signature electronically through the signature pad. So this is good. This is a good sign. Once we have that, head back to your uh, configuration screen of the e-signature plugin on Acumatica. Uh, make sure enable Topaz signature is checked. If that is checked, then that's good to go. Go down to your shipment screen and on the shipment screen, you will see the capture, capture Topaz signature new button. So when you click on this, our custom screen is going to show up, which is going to accept the signature. Now this little change from the regular signature uh, that we do, but the one that we do with the Topaz signature has an interface with the hardware. So we're going to be clicking the sign in order to start capturing the signature from the USB interface. And once that's done, we'll hit the button done so that we have captured it. Um, so keep in mind, this is going to work only if you have a secure SSL certificate installed on that Acumatica instance. If you're using it in the dev environment or development environment on local IP or a local uh, you know, instance, then this may not work. So make sure to try this on an SSL certificate. So I'm going to hit sign here and I'm going to start signing, signing off the, my document. Uh, once I'm done, I can actually give a name. Uh, I can say just pad, signature pad, and I hit done. At which point it captures the signature um, from the device completely. And when I hit save signature, it will save the signature file to Acumatica's file system and also it shows me a preview of what I signed. Hit the close button. It refreshes the shipment document. Earlier it was four files, now it is five files. And also it will capture the comments that I specified. Um, I did say that it is a signature pad, test pad, which is probably one of these documents. Um, so there you have it. That's how you uh, accept signature on from a Topaz signature hardware device into Acumatica. So if we hit the packaging list with signature, it shows the packing list first uh, page and second page. You will notice all the signatures that you accepted. It's the last one that I just did. So that's how you're going to interface the Topaz signature hardware device with Acumatica. So you go down to the website first, download the uh, plugin for the browser and install this on the Chrome or the Firefox or the other different browser that you have. They have the link in that PDF document. Make sure to refer to this document and download that. Once you installed it, then you can actually try the plugin to accept the signature.
Hope this uh, video was helpful. If you guys have any questions, please send an email to support at info-sourcing.com. Um, again, thanks a lot for watching this video.